Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you wanna find out how I did this makeup look right here, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So to start, I have already applied my foundation and my eyebrows to my face. So all that's left to do is the eyes, lips, and all of the other face stuff. So first, we're just gonna start with the eyes. And to do that, I'm going to be using just a MAC paint pot all over my eyes to make sure that our eyeshadow isn't going to crease. And the very first palette that I'm gonna be using is the Maybelline Nudes Palette. And I highly recommend that you use a primer with these shadows because they do tend to crease when you don't have one. So just a little tip from me, um, that's just what I would recommend. And the first color that I'm using, I forgot to record it, but it's kind of like that pale gray shade and I'm just applying that all throughout the crease. The next color that I'm gonna go in with is this really kind of dark brown color. And on a very small pencil brush, we're gonna kind of be carving out a cut crease sort of look, but I'm not very good at those, so it's kind of like that, kind of not, but I'm just going over my natural crease just a little bit. And I also applied some scotch tape to the outer parts of my eye just to make sure that the outer edges stay nice and crisp, but I'm just going through on both of my eyes and kind of carving out where I want the dark eyeshadow to be. And then on just a clean e.l.f. blending brush with nothing else on it, I'm gonna be going through and buffing out that crease color, going in an upwards motion and not bringing it down onto the lid because if we were to do that, then we would lose that kind of like fake cut crease sort of look that we're going for. For the next eyeshadows, I'm gonna be using my Shanxo palette by BH Cosmetics and mixing these two neutral shades together, I'm just gonna be packing that all over the eye just to give it kind of a shimmery look. Make sure you don't go over that crease color too much. Just kind of stay below that color and you should be good to go. And then of course I'm going through and doing my cat eye with my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in the color black. Just my usual, what I always like to do. And then of course you can go ahead and remove the tape. Moving down to the bottom of my eye, I'm just applying some black eyeliner on my waterline. And then for a brow bone highlight, I'm taking this color from the Maybelline Nudes palette and just sweeping that onto my brow bone. And then to finish up the eyes, I'm just going to be curling them with my eyelash curler from Sephora. And then I'm gonna be taking my favorite mascara, which is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara and putting that on my top and bottom lashes. If you haven't tried this mascara, I highly recommend that you do. It is the bomb.com and I love it. It makes my lashes look so good and I feel like it could probably do the same with yours. So make sure you go and check it out. up the rest of my face I'm gonna be doing a little bit of contouring and unfortunately my contour shade completely shattered I was so upset but this little contouring palette is from City Colors it was about five dollars and I'm gonna be using my elf contouring brush which is amazing by the way and I'm just gonna be sculpting out my cheeks with that really kind of dark contour color and then on just a blender brush with absolutely nothing on it I'm just gonna be going through and buffing it out so it doesn't look as harsh and not as muddy and I'm gonna be blending that in an upwards motion. And then to go through and bronze the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using NARS Laguna and I'm gonna be taking that on my cheeks and up into my temples. For blush, I'm using this one by Sephora. I think it is called Rose Petal. And on just my blush brush, I'm gonna be putting that on the apples of my cheeks. 
And then to my all time favorite part, which is highlighting, I'm gonna be using my Shimmer Brick Five Positions formula and making my face sparkle like the damn sky because I love it. So here's what the eyes and the face all look like completed. Now it's time to move on to the lip color, which I'm super excited about. I'm going to be using this lip color right here, which is by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is one of his newer shades added to his collection, and this one is in the shade Scorpio. It is a beautiful, beautiful purple gray color. I absolutely love it, and it doesn't make my teeth look yellow at all, which is a huge, huge plus in my opinion. So first I'm just outlining my lips with a purple lip liner. I always have to line my lips when I wear a liquid lipstick. I'm not as talented as everyone else here on YouTube. It just has to happen. So after shaking the lipstick for a few seconds, it is time to apply it. And oh my gosh, you guys, I swear you can hear the heavens singing when you apply these lipsticks because they are so smooth, great color payoff, really nice and opaque. I just absolutely love them. Really, really nice color. I highly recommend that you check it out because oh, it's just, it's beautiful. I mean, just look at that color. It's so gorgeous. After you set everything down with some MAC Fix Plus Spray, you are good to go with the makeup look. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments. I'm a huge, huge fan of it. If you guys enjoyed this video, give a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe to my YouTube channel. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.